you know. It's great. It's great. I mean, he's he's pretty much the best. I mean, he can make anything that you do sound good. And anything that he's going to do is going to sound phenomenal. He's the most musical person I've ever worked with, for sure. For sure. And uh, just super, super sweet human being on top of it all. You know, it really shows in his playing, you know. Uh, well, Mike has his group, the Mike Landau Trio, and now it's the Mike Landau Group. And um, he uses different players randomly, and I've been fortunate enough to do the gig a bunch. I've done it with, uh, actually, he's got a new album out, the Mike Landau Group, live. And I'm on four cuts, I think, three or four cuts. And uh, that's a great gig. I mean, you know, I've gotten to, in, on that gig, you know, playing with Gary Novak, uh, Ron Bruner Jr. on dr the drummers that I've worked with, Scott Kinsey on keyboards, uh, Kirk Fletcher sitting in on guitar from the Fabulous Thunderbirds, Greg Matheson on B3 on one gig. I mean, it's, you know, that's, that's the dream gig, you know. I mean, it's not often you get, you get asked to cover for Jimmy Johnson on a gig, you know, so... Very, very, very fun. That's a great gig, you know. And uh, buy the album. It's a good album. Just came out. What other activity do you do? Musically or musically? Well, I do. A, I do. A, one of my main money gigs is I do a calypso gig with a steel drum thing called Steel Parade, which is a lot of fun. Actually, have a great time. It's just me and a bunch of drummers. So. It gets it gets pretty interesting at times. Um, I sub for Lance Morrison on the Volto gig, which is with John Ziegler, who's playing tonight with me, and uh, Kirk Covington from Tribal Tech. He actually sings and plays keyboards in that gig, and Danny Carey from Tool plays drums. So, you know, I'm lucky enough that when Lance is out of town, they have me do it, and that's that's a blast. That's just a fun gig. You know, if you ever get a chance to see those guys play, it's loud and fun. You know, just a really good thing. And um, playing here on New Year's with Don Randy and Quest. Uh, very, very honored to work with Don. That's a huge, huge thing. Um, through Don, I've done the Nancy Sinatra gig and, you know, a bunch of just quirky, it's, it's whatever, you know. You're in L.A., I'll go from a real hard, heavy, tuned down to low A new metal gig one night to Calypso the next night to playing Fusion here at the Baked Potato to doing a folk gig, you know, to doing standards for cocktails, you know, with like a piano trio on upright and everything in between. It's, you know, it's a real fertile town that, uh, it's not, it doesn't seem to be that difficult to work here, you know, as a bass player, at least. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of bass players, so you can, you can make a really good living here, you know, without being a superstar, you know. And by no means am I, you know, some gargantuan, super uber bass player. Everyone knows me. But uh, I make a really good living, and I work all the time with the greatest players in the world. I mean, who could complain about that? You know? For the last almost two years now, every Monday night, the baked potato has been nice enough to let us come down here and demolish this place. Uh, doing this thing called Hubcap Corral. It's basically a guitar fusion, two guitar players, bass and drums. Uh, we do one set, and then we have an open jam, the second set. So whoever shows up, you can play, you know. And I would plead that more bass players come and sit in, because I'd like to sit down and drink for the second set, but I have to... I have to work all night usually because it's all guitar players and drummers. But it's a blast. We've had 
everyone from Eddie Van Halen to Mike's come down. Kinsey, Scott Kinsey sits in. Um, tonight, Jamie Kime, the one guitar player, is out on the road with the Zappa, does Zappa tour. Rafael Moyer is playing with us. And he's done the rock star show, and he's in the house band of that, and Pink, and, and uh, I think he did Christine Aguilera a while ago. He's just phenomenal. You, you get a constant stream of just amazing players. Joel Taylor's through here all the time. Uh, the list goes on. I can't even think right now. There's been so many people, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's Monday night. What else is going on in town? Nothing. And you can come down and just sit in and, and it's a fun night, man. I've seen some amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. I've seen some really bad stuff too, but you know, it's an open jam. You never know what's going to happen. You know, Terry Bozio comes in and wants to play a rock tune. You know, or like super rock guys come in. Danny Carey will be here. He's here all the time. And we'll do like hard fusion stuff with Danny. You know, people like to mix it up. And it's a good opportunity for them to just kind of come down and, and let loose. You know, it's a great room for it. Really comfortable. You know, best sounding room in L.A. for sure. For sure. I will be here on New Year's Eve with Don, Randy, and Quest. Again. Speaking of Don, Speaking of Don he is here. <laughs> he is here. <laughs> sure. <laughs>